Camila Cabello falls on stage and speaks out. Liam Payne opens up on Zayn Malik leaving One Direction. And BTS's Jungkook has a car accident. All that and more on today's Daily Hollywood Rundown. What is up you guys? Welcome to today's episode of the Daily Hollywood Rundown. I'm Sizzle Morad. Happy and, Monday. Oh, oh, I'm a millionist junior. And it is Monday, which means it's time for the, the Monday, Monday DHR. DHR. The Monday, Monday DHR. DHR. The Monday DHR. Hey. Okay guys, but while you're here, I saw a comment. And somebody was like, I hate that you guys tell us every episode to subscribe and click the bell and stuff. First of all, <laughs> first of all, <laughs> <laughs> calm down, because it, it's, it's literally <laughs> like five, 10 seconds of the show max is not that big of a deal. Um, to that person, hope you already have done it, but subscribe <laughs> and click that bell if you don't miss a single thing and leave a comment in the comment section below. No, I know that some people get annoyed with it, but you never know who's watching it and there could be a new person watching and we want to make sure they know to subscribe so you don't miss a single thing. Exactly, don't be selfish. Exactly, exactly. Was that your like uh, subscriber voice that you put on? Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, and I mean for Emil to do that, I think you should subscribe if you right, haven't subscribed before. Right. But okay. I guess we should just get into the show because we have a lot of tea to discuss. Starting with, uh, is it Demi Lovato? Yeah, Demi Lovato's first interview in a while. Demi Lovato is back and boy, did she have a lot to say in her first big interview since being hospitalized for an apparent overdose last year. But before we get into it, can we just take a moment and appreciate that one of the best in the business is not only back after one heck of a year, but most importantly, healthy at the Teen Vogue Summit in Los Angeles this weekend. It was so great to see our girl Demi in action and dropping some much needed truth about how we treat ourselves. Demi addressed her hospitalization, which took place in July of last year. A quick refresher, Demi was rushed to the hospital after what appeared to be an overdose. Previously, she had revealed to her fans through her song Sober that she had relapsed in her ongoing struggle with substance abuse. After the incident, Demi took some much needed time off from the spotlight and social media, so having her back this weekend was a real treat. And in true Demi fashion, she didn't hold back. She said, quote, I've changed a lot. What I see in the mirror is someone that's overcome a lot. I've been through a lot and I genuinely see a fighter. I don't see a championship winner, but I see a fighter and someone who is going to continue to fight no matter what is thrown in their way. But the biggest revelation is that Demi wouldn't change a thing that happened to her over the last year, despite the setbacks. Demi said, quote, I'm so tired of pretending like I'm not human. That's one thing that I won't do anymore. I would never regret anything. I love the person that I am today. Demi also opened up about embracing her body the way that it is naturally and changing the way she thinks about her body has made a huge difference in how she sees herself. Yes, Demi, we love that. But fans at the summit and truthfully us too wanted to know when Demi will get back to singing and releasing new music. And this is what Demi shared. I am so cautious this time around of jumping back into things. Um, I've really decided to take my time with things. So when the time is right to release new music, I will put it out there and nobody is more anxious than you guys, than me. Like, I am dying to release new music. Demi went on to say, there's a reason why it's taking longer and that's only because I'm trying to perfect that music for you guys. She also talked about getting back into acting too, which she said she never thought she would say as she had body image issues and was afraid to get back on camera for the longest time. We are so excited for all of Demi's projects in the works and are thrilled to see her in such a great place. It's so crazy to think back that it was only a year ago that Demi was in such a different place yeah. and the changes that she's made in her life, I am so happy for her and it is just so great to see that she's doing things at her own pace and really just listening to herself listening to her body and really just taking each day as it comes and we just keep seeing her get better and better and stronger and stronger and I'm yeah. so here for it. Those low dark moments can obviously be hard to deal with but sometimes it's in those moments where you really are able to find yourself and figure out what you need, need to do for yourself. So I'm glad that Demi's speaking out. I'm glad that she's being so vocal and like really focusing on, on her mm -hmm. and uh, can't wait to see what's next. Mm -hmm. So we have to talk about Liam Payne this morning for two different reasons. Mm -hmm. One is for um, some pictures that are out there now that 
that are hot. <laughs> and then the second is for what he has to say about Zayn Malik leaving One Direction. But funny enough, the two are related. So let's start with these photos and where they came from. Liam is on the cover of GQ Hype and the cover says Liam Payne, the full package. On Therapy, his new album in One Direction's Darkest Days. Now before we get into what he talks about in the cover story, we were shook by the pictures. He shares some of the photos on his Instagram, which are also part of his partnership with Hugo Boss. But we have to talk about what he had to say about One Direction and Zayn. When speaking about One Direction as a whole, the interviewer asked if there were still grudges between the members and Liam said, definitely in some part, yeah. We had our differences throughout the whole experience with some things. I still think about some stuff that was said and done that now I would do differently, but then that's all part of growing up. Everyone has stuff they've said at parties they wish they hadn't, but for us, the difference was that it was all happening in front of the world. Now we are older, for me certainly there are things that I am just not as bothered about. So we completely get where Liam's coming from with that, but when he talked about Zayn, he said, I think with Zayn's particular exit and the way he chose to go, we haven't really heard from him since he left. He didn't even say goodbye. If I'm being honest, it was a really sordid scenario from our side, certainly a bit strange. It's difficult. But he did also say earlier in the interview with Zayn that he was the best singer in the group and he did want to reach out to him, but it quote, got to a point with me where I wouldn't know where to begin with Zayn. I hope he has good people around him, but I don't at this stage think it's anything the rest of us can solve. Do you remember Zayn has been very open in the past and even in the present about his anxiety and his not being able to perform on stage and all that stuff. And I think he really goes in depth Liam in this article talking about those and how it can be difficult to navigate like how to help someone when they don't really know how to help themselves quite yet. Yeah. Um, I don't think there's any drama or anything when it comes to this. There's been a lot of articles and people talking about this today, but it is unfortunate the way he left. And yeah. I can understand when you've been in a group with somebody for so long, you just leave without, I, I would be hurt. It's a lot. And I do like, what I did like about this article and interview is that it didn't end with him, Liam, just talking about like when Zayn left mm -hmm. and it was like a, a difficult thing. He did then open up about how he felt about Zayn, how he understood about mm -hmm. how difficult it would be dealing with like anxiety and also wishing that he could reach out to him because had he not said those things, I feel like a lot of people would yeah. take this article in another direction. Um, so I'm really glad that he did kind of cover the field in everything that he had to say. And I guess we can only hope that one day they can work things out. Mm -hmm. So Emil, unfortunately over the weekend, BTS's Jungkook was involved in a car accident. Thankfully, everybody's okay. On Saturday, Jungkook was involved in a car accident after his Mercedes-Benz crashed into a taxi in the Hanum district of Seoul, South Korea. Thank goodness no one was severely hurt, but according to E! News, both parties sustained minor bruises. Following the incident, Jungkook was allegedly questioned by the police where he admitted that he caused the accident. His management company, Big Hit Entertainment, also released a statement. The statement said, quote, Both the victim and Jungkook did not sustain any major injuries. The scene of the accident was resolved and police questioning was completed according to the due process and an amicable settlement was made with the victim afterwards. We once again apologise to the victim and we also express apologies for causing concern to fans. While it's unclear how much money was involved in the settlement, according to the statement, Jungkook said that he was the one at fault and quote, admitted violating traffic laws. Luckily, the case has been considered minor because there was no human or property damage and police confirmed to ABC News that alcohol was not a factor in the crash. And of course, ARMY was very concerned for Jungkook. After news of the accident was released, fans on Twitter began sending their well wishes to the BTS member. The hashtag Jungkook we love you was flooded with messages from fans and they appreciated that he owned up to making a mistake. One fan wrote, quote, I can tell you JK was taught very well. He's man enough to admit his mistake and took responsibility of his action. Please be careful next time, Cookie. Jungkook, we love you. Another said, quote, A true man accepts his mistake and knows how to apologize. We're glad you're okay, Jungkook. We love you. And this news surely didn't overshadow BTS's big weekend at the Europe Music Awards. They were nominated for three awards and took home two. I'm just so grateful that everyone was okay. And I think in these situations, in any sort of accident that happens, that's really the one thing, the one outcome that everybody hopes for, that there is no major injuries yeah. to, to anybody. And I'm so grateful to hear that that was the case here. Yeah, and it has to be a great feeling to see so much love and support from fans. So I'm um, glad everything worked out. Okay, so this one, 
one is a wild one. Camila Cabello fell on stage and uh, she has some things to say. So we all know that when you're having fun and the adrenaline is rushing, you sometimes aren't processing what is going on fast enough. Well, when you're an artist on stage performing, you may not fully process how you feel until later. And that's the case for Camila Cabello. So apparently Camila had an epic fall while performing for Apple Music's New Music Daily series on Saturday in LA. Now pay close attention to what we're about to show you because Camila had a huge fall. So did you guys catch that? Wait, you, you didn't see it? Okay, well we didn't either because phones were actually banned from the event. So unless the venue was recording it and releases the footage, we won't ever see this epic fall. And I say epic because even Camila wishes that someone was recording it. So according to ET, a source who was at the concert said that Camila did recover from her fall. And then Camila said, the one time I regret not allowing phones. That was funny as f Now, of course, we wish we could have seen it, but fans who were there chimed in, like this person who said, just saw Camila Cabello fall off the stage. Or this fan who said, Camila's fall looks so painful, I really truly hope she's okay. She acted as if everything was fine and just started laughing. And someone else said, I was there. And it wasn't funny in the moment, she scared the heck out of me. <laughs> but after she started laughing, that calmed us down. Well, Camila actually took to her Instagram to clear the air and let fans know that she did fall and how she's feeling. The rumors are true, I fell on my tonight. Like actually I think the hardest fall I've ever had, it was like about six foot, seven foot fall, but I didn't feel it because the adrenaline was so high. The adrenaline is so high on stage that I could probably get hit by a truck. I mean, you know, it's moments like this where we really wish that there was footage, but I am glad that she's okay because I don't want to make light of somebody falling. I'm the type of person, though, when somebody trips and falls, I, I laugh first. Laugh, I know. And then I ask if they're okay, which I really need to work on. Uh, yeah, well, I need to make sure <laughs> next time if I fall around you that uh, I would be so offended. Oh, no, if I'll you're be like, laughing so bah! hard. <laughs> but it's, it's, it's one of those things, like, I was trying to find footage of it on Twitter to see if there was something that surfaced yeah. and I was seeing other videos old videos and you can't help but laugh and there was even one of Sean when he fell off stage mm -hmm. and another time Camila fell like down the stairs yeah. and but thankfully they're okay and I love the fact that she saw fun in it and thought, oh, the one time you want people to capture right. you falling because it would have been a great memeable moment, um, but who knows, some footage might emerge. All right, guys, well, it's time for the final rundown. rundown. One and a half minutes on the clock. Harry Styles has unveiled all the details of his new album. Okay, well, not every single detail, but after being drip-fed cryptic clues and weeks of speculation of the release date and the album title, Harry today took to Instagram and Twitter to unveil that his second solo album, Fine Line, will drop December 13th, with super cool images of him and artwork. Fans are so excited with Fine Line trending on Twitter. Uh, cannot I wait. But guys, we have to talk about a specific relationship. I'm talking about Kim and Taylor Swift and what happened. So some fans think that Kim just showed some support for Taylor Swift. I mean, we don't know for sure, but we do know that over the weekend, Kim posted an Instagram story where Taylor's song Lover can be heard in the background while she was at a photo shoot. Don't worry. They never stay mad long. Of course, fans had plenty to say on social. Twitter was flooded by the Swifties, and it's safe to say that they weren't exactly buying the reconciliation rumors. One person said, we're not going to fall for it. And another said, make a good song that even your haters can't resist to listen to. We're going to have to wait and see on that one, Emil. But moving on to our next story, Shane Dawson's conspiracy collection has sold out, which is why maybe some people have had theirs stolen. Shane and Jeffrey literally broke the internet on November the 1st when they unveiled their highly anticipated conspiracy collection. It didn't take long for Shane to share the news that the entire collection had sold out and how overwhelmed Shane was about all the love and support. And while the collection has sold out, it looks like some people have taken to other methods to try to get their hands on some. Shane shared this to his Instagram story saying, for some reason, lots of the PR boxes haven't been delivered and he thinks that some are being stolen on doorsteps or something. Not sure what's going on, but Jeffrey's team is on the case. Yes, It indeed. is never okay to steal, even if you want to get your hands on the conspiracy collection. And make sure you check out Clever Styles' video. We have it, we had the actual collection here in the studio on Friday, I think it was. Mm -hmm. And so there's a really cool video, so make sure you check it out. All right, guys, that is a wrap on today's episode of DHR. But before we go, I want to know, did you actually see Camila Fall? Were you in the audience? Let us know in the comments section below. Yeah, and also I want to know, are you excited about Harry's new music? And also, are you excited to see Demi Lovato 
just killing it and in such a great place right now. Yes, let us know in the comment section below. Make sure you watch Clever Style's video. And guys, we'll be back here tomorrow. tomorrow. Adios. Hold on though, before you go anywhere, did you catch the weekend Celebrity Lowdown Edition? It's right here and it's a really good one. I did, I was there. Mm -hmm. Have you looked at the houses in the hills over here? I was just noticing. But also, click that subscribe button, guys. Did you click it? <laughs>